Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you an Arby's that I used to um, frequently go to. One of my favorite locations, close to the Rolling Acres property. This is what took over after Arby's closed. Why they would open up here next to Long John Silver's makes no sense to me. That is one huge lobster. Waste can still here. This was a pretty good size Arby's. There's blinds and the wind is there. Can't see in. Looks like they have the blinds pulled on all the windows except for over there. Can you see in there? All these are pulled down. So, whatever they're concealing in there, they're doing a good job of it. What the? Another abandoned flagpole with no flag on it. Something that just irks me. And there behind the Arby's we have the Notorious. That place. Look at this. Unbelievable. They still left the menu board out back. Here's where, you're, here's where you would come in here for the drive through stop there in order. Here's where the speaker was mounted. That is not the original menu board. That is a substitute. The menu board they had was much nicer and bigger than that one. But that's what they used. Pretty good sized freezer. Yeah, it's locked. like some of that landscaping mulch has been holding back some of the weed growth here because this has been abandoned for a few now seeing through that tinted window a little bit yep I like this Arby's for me it was convenient because I went to the mall a lot and it was right here Looking through the raindrops, we had another rainy morning here in Ohio. Wow, what's this in here? Some weird... phone cases in there? A whole box of them. It's weird. Let's leave a tattoo. Looks like there was a sign mounted there too of some type.
a beautiful Arby's that bites the dust as many other businesses did here along Romig Road after the demise of the mall. Sad, sad, sad. There's one thing left though here and that's Long John Silver's. Right over there. That's where I'm going to have my lunch. See you later. Bye. Fred. Ouch. Thanks for watching.